Hello everybody, I'm going to show you today how to use KeyPassX, that is a password manager. So the goal of this software is to store all your passwords in one place. And uh, you will have then to remember only one password so that you will have all your passwords stored in an encrypted database so that nobody can see your passwords and you will have to remember one master password that will unlock your database and you will have access to all your other passwords but there are many other things I want to show you so let's let's get started here this is the main window of KeePassX password manager and I am going to create a new database so here there's an icon for create new database and they're asking me to set a master key so master key is this one password that you will have to remember this is the password that can unencrypt your database so that you will have access to your passwords I'm going to put a very stupid password one two three four five six never use that password and here you have another option that is key file the key file is uh, like a password but it's a file it's actually a file that can unlock your database so I'm going to check this box for the the demonstration here uh, but you can choose either key file alone password alone or both but remember if you choose both you will need both the file and your password to unlock your database so in this case I'm opening a new database I'm going to generate a key file I'm going to call it uh, key file also a very stupid name you should uh, probably choose something that doesn't remind of anything related to passwords or well something that nobody will know what it is basically all right so I have my key file my password is set I click OK type my password once again and here I have my new KeePassX database so I'm going to add a new password so you have here the icon add new entry you can also come here to the menu entries add new entry and here is the main window the window that you will use most of the time you can choose a group uh, let's let's say it's an email I'm going to to enter here so title uh, email so uh, here's my email you can put the name of your email if you want username so I'm going to put Idilix uh, URL uh, whatever www something dot com and here I enter my password so you can see that your password appear as uh, those little stars here as usually is the case you retype your password just to be sure that it's the same and you can see here below that it will tell you what the quality of this password is so here we have 48 bit of entropy uh, that's just a way to measure how strong a password is you have also a very cool option here in KeePassX that is to generate a password for you so generated random passwords are more secure than the passwords that you can type and remember so if you click here on the eye you can see the password I have typed in one two three four five six and actually now I'm going to generate a password so when you generate a password you have the options upper letter lower letters numbers I can p have underlines minus is okay special characters I'm going to take that out uh, exclude lookalike characters that's might be a good idea 
Uh, 25 characters of length. That's maybe a little bit too much. I'm going to put, uh, let's say, well, 16, 88 bits of entropy. So that's twice as much as what I've had, what I chose before. And I click here on generate. I click here on the eye and you can see that it's a completely random password that is very difficult to guess. I click OK. My new random password is here and I just click OK and I have my new password here stored. Alright, so you can add new entries. Uh, let's do this. Let's do something completely random. Uh, generate new password generate okay I'm just doing this to show you that you can separate your emails into groups so here on email I have one internet I have one these are the different groups uh, into internet for example you can so this is a right click and add a su subgroup for example and I'm going to choose internet, uh, whatever, my sites. My sites, here it is. Okay, so now I have a subgroup into internet. I could also drag and drop email into internet because that's part of the internet too. You can have groups for bank accounts, for, I don't know, uh, passwords to open the doors uh, whatever you want you can put that in so now I'm going to save this database so save the database what keypass X will ask me is where I want to save the database so the database is just a file where all the passwords are stored in an encrypted form of course so I'm going to say that this is a key pass database. Database, here it is. I'm going to put this into my documents and save it. All right. Now, if you want to have your passwords on other computers, you will have to uh, get that file that database file into a pen drive for example and you can open it in any computer that has KeePassX installed. KeePassX is cross-platform you have it for Windows, Mac, Linux probably also BSD and other operating systems and remember that the, if you have chosen to have a, a key file as I have told before you will need the key file also when you open your database. So remember, if you're taking your database with you on a pen drive, also take with you the key file if you have chosen to have a key file too. But be careful not to put the key file in the same pen drive as you would put your database because if you have the key file just next to your database anyone could potentially open your database in my case I chose to have both uh, the, the key file and the password so that's not as serious of a security threat because I need to have the password as well so if you forget your software open it will also lock after a few minutes I'm going to click here on the lock icon just to show you how it how it is. So that's that that is how it looks. The workspace is locked, so you can have your software running, but nobody has access to it. I'm going to click on unlock. Uh, it's asking me for a password. I'm going to type one two three four five six, and I'm going to click OK. So you see there's an error the error is because I chose also to have a key file so I need to enter both the key file and the password so password one two three four five six and the key file here it is key file into my documents open and now it should work 
here it is i have my database with uh, my email uh, passwords and everything that i put before that's it so i hope that was uh, helpful this is something i use all the time so that i never forget a password i have very secure passwords and uh, i also have access to it whenever i want using a pen drive hope you liked it if you want more tips like this one subscribe to this channel and see you next time